first on the, uh, the call with Netanyahu, um, was the, you said there was a, uh, the Israeli said that there was an invitation to meet to meet in the United States. Is that meeting at the White House, as Prime Minister Netanyahu has, has repeatedly asked for? They have they have agreed that they they will meet probably before the end of this year, and all the details of the the where's and the when's are still being worked out. And then certainly on the Black Sea uh, grain deal, um, assuming Russia doesn't lift uh, this, this is effective blockade, what other options are there that the U.S. can facilitate to get that Ukraine grain out there? Is there additional resources that U.S. can send to Ukraine, ship it out via rail? <coughs> yeah. Um, or is it really just at the mercy of Russia here? Well, look, to some degree, Russia does have a, a huge amount of responsibility here. Uh, uh, by allowing, or in the previous months, allowing ships to leave through the Black Sea across, uh, uh, along a, a, an approved route. But absent that, <clears throat> we're going to have to kind of go back to where we were before the Green Deal was put in place last July, and that's been a year, um, where obviously the, the bulk of grain wasn't getting out, because the only other option you have for that is overland, by rail, by truck, overland. And of course, overland transport of anything in Ukraine right now is a pretty hazardous undertaking. And of course, you'd have to go through EU countries. They all would have to be OK with that. They have farmers and farms that they have to be concerned about for their own economies. So it's, it's uh, more cumbersome, less efficient, certainly not as effect, an effective way of getting all that grain out of, of Ukraine. And that's why, before the grain deal was put in place, food prices were going up. The developing world, the so-called global south, was suffering under food scarcity. So I mean, I don't want to stand here and, and promise you that we'll be able to fix everything as a result of this decision by Russia. We'll do the best we can. We'll continue to work with the uh, allies and partners to find new ways to get grain out. But there's no possible way, just mathematically, we're going to get as much grain out now as we were going to be able to get out through the grain deal if it had been extended. Yes, Thank you. Hello, I'm 